Thank you, ministers, Mr. Troop. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Before I begin, I want to recognize uh, our lead down at the uh, City Hall. The council that works morning, noon, and night on the Pan Am Games, Mark Grimes from Ward 6, Pope of Lakeshore. Thank you, Mark. And talking about young athletes, I see a good friend of mine in the crowd, Dana McKeel. He covers high school sports like no other. I want to thank you for supporting the young athletes. Thank you so much, Dana. It's a great pleasure to be here today in such great company to announce a key milestone for the 2015 Toronto Pan Am Games. As you just heard, we are moving forward with an exciting plan to group venues together. This will be a great benefit for athletes, spectators, organizers, and most importantly, to taxpayers. Toronto will host five of these Pan Am venue clusters with many exciting events in Tobacco, Scarborough, downtown Toronto, North York, and Exhibition Place. Spreading these clusters across the city means the experience and lasting legacy of the games we spread fairly across Toronto. The Pan Am Games partners are working hard, very, very hard, to ensure the economic infrastructure and community benefits last long and dedication of the athletes who will compete here in Toronto. To all these athletes, to their friends, families, teams and coaches who support them, on behalf of all the residents of the City of Toronto, I sincerely want to thank you for all your hard work and dedication. We also won't see the countless, countless hours of work that organizers and volunteers will put into these games to make sure Toronto is ready to shine on the world stage. Again, thank you for all your hours of commitment to the Pan Am Games. On behalf of Toronto City Council, residents and businesses of Toronto, I would also like to thank our key partners, the Government of Canada, the Government of Ontario, the Canadian Olympic Committees, and the municipalities across the greater Golden Horseshoe for your tremendous, tremendous commitment to these games. I'm absolutely thrilled, folks, about hosting the 2015 Pan Am Games here in Toronto. The games in Guadalajara were simply amazing. They brought the city together in a phenomenal way. As soon as I walked off the plane, you could feel the excitement. I can assure you, the games in Toronto are going to be spectacular. Toronto is going to host the best Pan Am Games ever. Let's continue this great work I can't wait to welcome the world in 2015. Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup, Monsieur Le Maire. Nous avons maintenant le temps pour une période de questions. We are now going to proceed to a formal Q&A period. Hi. Hi. Elizabeth Church from the Globe and Mail. I'd like to ask uh, Mayor Ford about uh, Concerns about traffic, uh, Torontonians' tolerance. I know you're concerned about gridlock in the downtown, uh, transporting athletes uh, around the city. What do you think the impact for Toronto residents will be? How are you going to try to address that? Just like Mr. Tripp was saying, I think you have to see what happened at Guadalajara. They had shuttle buses going back and forth, and the traffic was flowing. So, the, of course, people are going to know they're going to be inconvenient. 
experience. But you know what? I think that's the price of hosting the games, and I think people will understand that. And um, you know, everyone, we're all working, like I said, off the same page, and we're, we're going to uh, put the city on the map once and for all. And uh, I think it's going to be huge. Well, I don't think I know it's going to be a huge benefit to all the taxpayers in the city. Thank you very much. That brings to an end the uh, formal question and answer period. I'd now like to invite our guests up front as well as the athletes. When we get it, we'll rock our head. Thank you, Mayor. Are you ready to go at the end of all of this?